back uh, really to the Great Depression and before, but primarily the Great Depression when many people migrated here from the mountains of eastern Kentucky and West Virginia uh, looking for work. And a new movie, The Mountain Miner, tells the story through the eyes of one family. And writer and director Dale Farmer is here along with one of the stars of the film, musician Ma Crow. Thanks to both of you for coming in. Uh, Dale, uh, Dale let, me, uh, let me start with you. Uh, this is a film that tells about the migration, but through the eyes of one family, and it's over several generations of that family, right? Correct. It's uh, it's based on my grandfather's story uh, yeah. of coming to Ohio in 1932, and it also takes place in 1985 as he's planning to return to Kentucky. Yeah, I, an important part of this is the, the the musical presentation, which is a significant part of it. Uh, you write about what you know, and and and, and music is important to Appalachian culture, right? Right. It was uh, my grandpa used to tell me when he was, when, that when he was a kid, his life consisted of three things: church, work, and music. Okay. That the only music you ever heard is what you made for yourself. So yeah. uh, we we tell that in in the story. And it's it's just very much true. It's been a story of what I heard growing up as well. Mm -hmm. and, and and Maude, you play a prominent role in this film in that you play the older version of one of uh, uh, the main characters. And tell tell us a little bit about your your, your uh, character. Uh, Ruth Abner. Ruth. With the, um, Charlie Abner's wife, and they met as children. And um, when I, it's in the 1980s when, when it's, the story starts in 1939 when, when they're kids, but then it brings, brings them back together in Ohio. They've been married, they've got kids, yeah. they're, they're ready to go back to the mountains, or he's ready to go back to the mountains. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Appalachian music, though, is something that you know. It's something yeah. that, that, that sustains you now. Yes. Uh, talk about uh, that connection for you in this film. Uh, my mother and father were musicians. My dad had a, a band in East Tennessee, and that's where my m mother and father are from. They yeah. moved up here. Uh, it was always such a strong part of, our, uh, of my culture in church and yeah. on the school buses. I could hear the families up, up on the top of the mountains singing yeah. and, and all their, their voices would roll down the mountain sides and, and I could just sit in the meadows and listen to, it really was, the, the hills were alive with music. Yeah, and, absolutely, and absolutely, it was a special kind of music too. Yeah. Uh, this film has been, I've seen some of the reviews. I, I mean, we're talking big time reviewers are looking at it and saying this is a great film. I, it, it, it must make you feel great. Yeah, it was a little bit of a surprise actually. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had such a low budget and uh, we use professional musicians in the place of actors because right. we wanted the music to be right. And, be authentic. Uh, and they did a great job, and uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's done well so far. Uh, to that end, they're going to hang around for a little bit uh, later, and um, you're going to actually uh, perform for us a little bit later yeah. uh, in the, uh, uh, the thing. I, I think you, uh, you guys have performed together before, is it? Have you? We have not, actually. We have not. This <laughs> oh, okay. This will be well, well, but yeah. we can do it. We've been practicing. All right. <laughs> uh, we're going to hear from them later. Uh, in the meantime, uh, two screenings of the Mountain Miner are coming up. Uh, they're Thursday and Sunday, uh, both at 7 at the Esquire Theater. Go to local12.com and click on the Get It Now links for more information. And we're looking forward to seeing more of you later in, the, in, in our hour. Thank so. You.